Hey everybody, this modern day here. We're going to be making a pin today, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to press Shift A, Mesh, and we're going to go ahead and go down to Circle. We'll hit Tab, go down to Edge Mode. We're going to press E to Extrude, and we're going to press Z to keep that to the Z axis. We'll bring it up to about here. Perfect, just like that. Press F to Fill. We're going to press I, Inset, bring it to about right here. Press Control B to add a bevel. Go ahead and bring that down to where it's just these. Like so, press Alt S on this inner, or Alt click on this Inner edge, press G, Z, bring it down. That's going to add the stuff for our clicker. We'll press tab, go back to face mode, press E to extrude it along the Z axis, like so. Perfect, we've got our clicker. All right, so we'll press Control R, add a ring cut to here, bring it up to about right here, press Control B, scroll the mouse wheel down so we just have the one set of faces. Press I, hold Control to add depth to that inset, just like so. Press 3. Go ahead and press tab and go to face mode. Then while we're there, make sure we're in orthographic mode. Go ahead and select these faces here that are the same width as the clicker. Press SX0. That's going to go ahead and flatten those edges out. Go ahead and press E to extrude. Press Control R here. Perfect. Just like so. Press tab, go back to face mode. Press this face, hold Control, click this face to select those. Then we'll go ahead and press E to extrude and we'll bring that down to about right here, like so. All right, then we want to press Control R, add a loop cut, bring that to about right here. And then while still in edge select mode, just select this edge and this edge. Press Control B, slide this way just a little bit, and then scroll your mouse wheel to add some roundness to it. Switch back to face mode when we're here. Press here, hold Control, click here, extrude out just a little bit. And that's going to add the clip to our pin, like so. Then we'll go ahead and scroll down to here. We're going to add another loop cut. Slide that all the way down to about right. Whoa. Hello. Cancel that. We'll go ahead and just control Z. Control R. Slide that down to about right here. Perfect. Just like that. Press control B. Bring that down so it's just this one set of faces like so. Press I. Hold control. Bring that in to about right here. Perfect. Then we'll go ahead and alt click on this edge and we'll scale this down. Awesome. Now while we're here, we're going to go ahead and add some ring cuts. This is going to add some support to it later whenever we go to smooth things out. Now we will go ahead and click here, add two ring cuts like so. Slide this down. Then hold control or we'll click there. Switch to face mode. Alt click on this. So we select all these faces. We'll hit I, hold control to bring that out like so. Then while we're here, we're going to go ahead and press control R. We're going to add in these loop cuts like so. Just like this then with these edges still selected press control b to add a bevel like this press control minus on the numpad and then that will reduce those selections perfect so now that we have these we want to press tab go to vertex mode and then we are going to hit select check or deselect and then you're going to want to hold and press shift r to repeat this until we go all the way down like so then you'll hit the Q menu, you'll go into circle. You're going to want to switch this over to, you're going to hit M and switch the mode. That way we have this, just like so. Press I to inset these faces, bring it in just a little bit, hold control to add some depth to it, like so. Perfect. So now if we go to object, we go ahead and right click here and we click shade smooth and then we press Q and hold control and click sharpen. There we have it. There's our ink pen. Now we can go a little bit further. We can go ahead and hit Q again. We can go to bevel and add a bevel modifier to go ahead and kind of smooth these edges out just a little bit. Nothing too insane. Uh, about right here works great. And then you are all done and you are all set with your ink pen. Just like so. You have the nice indentions on the grip and everything is good. And then if you wanted to go ahead and add in a ball, you could press Shift A, go down here to UV sphere. Scale that UV sphere down to about here, and then move it up like so. Scale it up just a little bit to about right there. And then we will go back to object mode. We will select this. We'll go ahead and apply this. Or actually, we won't apply this bevel modifier. We'll go ahead and go to solidify. And then we want to change this offset to a positive, And then just change it to even thickness or actually leave even thickness unchecked. Sorry, that's my fault. And then we want to bring this up just a tiny, tiny bit, so hold shift, and then bring that up just a little. Perfect, just like so. 
Then we'll go back to here. We're gonna scale this up just a little bit, just like that. Right click it, shade smooth. Boom, you have your ink pen. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this short, quick, fast tutorial and I will see you again soon in the future. Have a good one.